Hi, I'm Diane Valer, and I write humorous mysteries and sometimes other things, which we're going to talk about today. But at first, I am counting from my first book up to my 40th, which comes out on February 27th. It's called Ranch Dressing, and it is a mystery set at a dude ranch. But I am not talking anymore about that today. I am talking about book number 25, which is Bonbons for Your Brain. This is my only nonfiction book, and it is a collection of essays that are supposed to be thought-provoking and make you feel a little less alone in the world if you think about things like goals and drive and fashion and beauty and health and some random other things that kind of fell into a catch-all <laughs> category. So um, this was the first book I put out after moving across the country and I was in a you know kind of a recovery state from all the change that I had the previous year. So this was meant to be a fun book and I wanted it to feel, I called it bonbons because they are short essays and I wanted them to feel exactly like that, like little treats for your brain. The, the back cover copy, instead of writing out back cover copy, I give it a nutritional label. And if you take the desk jacket off, I wanted it to feel like a box of candy when you take open the box and you have the foil inside. So I didn't even put it, there's no title, there's just a barcode on the back but I wanted it to have that kind of indulgent feel. I wanted it to be just as pretty without the dust jacket as it was with it on. So there are three essays in this particular collection that really do stand out to me. And one of them is called Unboxing Barbie, one is called Waiting to be Perfect, and one is called Glitter Matters. So Unboxing Barbie is about a time when, I, I always loved Barbies and I used to collect, um, collect fashion Barbies. And I had some in boxes and there was a typo in the box, so they were kind of valuable. And one night, a pipe burst in my apartment and the water that came out of the pipe destroyed the boxes. And I was very upset at that time. And then after I got over the fact that, you know, yes, the boxes were ruined and, you know, if they were worth something, they're not worth anything anymore, which is relative, I took the night and I, I took the next couple of hours and I took the Barbies out of their boxes and I put them on display. And from that point on, every time I saw them, I was happy because I interacted with them. They were something that I had that brought me joy and it was right there on display in my bedroom. And I started to realize we do this in life. We have things that we think are valuable or they th we think they're special and we think, oh, they're so special we can't use them, we can't touch them, we need to keep them safe and tucked away. But really, we need to put those things out on display. We need to interact with those things day in and day out. We need to make those things a part of our everyday life because then we'll be happier just by having appreciated what we own. The second one is waiting to be perfect and that really captures uh, that feeling when you wanna do something and it's a little scary because you're afraid of failure but if you just keep thinking you can't do something yet because you're not good enough, eventually you're never gonna do it. So it's actually better to do something and fail than it is to wait and try to be perfect and never ever go for it. And then the third one is Glitter Matters and it is about a criminal case, it is about a murder and it is it does get into forensics. <laughs> you might not think so from the title, but the overarching theme of it is about glitter, this insignificant thing that we think is kind of fluffy and silly and how it can be very important. It's about all those little things about us that maybe we think aren't serious and how those things can be, sometimes be the most important thing about us to project who we are. So that just gives you a sample of what the essays are like in this particular collection. Um, it is available in ebook, paperback, and hardcover because I just thought it was, I don't know, I thought it was a nice book and I wanted it to be available in all three formats. So that is Bonbons for Your Brain. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to be back tomorrow to tell you about book number 26. And if you want to find anything out about that new book that's coming out, you can look up here to my website address and check it out. Thank you for watching.